Hooters in Newport Beach. <laughs> Come along as Tom Green and the rest of the Birdhouse team tour across America. Visit Ed Templeton's art show in Paris. And much more. Also in this issue, on pays tribute to one of the most influential videos of all time as we go behind the scenes of Blind's 1991 classic, Video Days. I hope you enjoyed the skateboarding, and this is from... is for boys with peach fuzz on their faces. Welcome to 411, issue number 59. I'm Chris Sen, and we're going to start off this issue with Controlled Chaos, the Dust Team, featuring Ragdoll, Adam Alfaro, Jason the Kid Adams, and Stacey Lowry. We have a Wheels of Fortune with Jack Curtin, and then we're going to move on to the much-anticipated Yeah Right Girl video premiere. 
Cairo Foster setup, road trip with Satori in Puerto Rico with Jake Rupp, Carl Watson, Matt Pales, and Ed Salago. The Tampa Pro Contest. Danny Supa's setup down in Venice to see what he's riding. And then to finish it off, we're going to have a day in the life with yours truly. Sounds like we got an interesting video to watch, and I hope everyone enjoys it. Have a nice day. I'm Latia Lopez and I'm here with Ragdoll and you're watching 411.
I'm Jackson Curtin. I'm 19 years old. Sponsored by DGK Skateboards, Gold Wheels, DC Shoes, LRG Clothing, and uh, Diamond Hardware. Grew up outside Washington, D.C. until I was 12 or 13, and then lived in Indonesia for six years. I live in San Francisco. I go to school out there. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a cool thing to be able to travel back and forth from the West and the East. Like, the West is definitely on a, a crazy program. But the SF, just skate with whoever. People are always coming through. Skate Pier 7 sometimes. Try to get out of the city. Skate with photographers like Victor Neira. T. Thompson, shout outs. Holla back. <laughs> Too caught up in what tricks people are doing, how many stairs, all that bullshit. Just straight raw style and street skating and having fun. Uh, what it was, it was, it was the girl premiere, and it was last weekend. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> Let me start over. It was the, the last weekend, it was the girl premiere, and me and Vern went to cover for 4 in 1. 
you know and and you know we get there and it's like red carpet and there's limos and it's it's every who's who in skateboarding and every hot shot and me and Vern just look like complete jackasses because we didn't have any questions put together we didn't have anything really we just showed up with a camera and, and just kind of wanted to talk to people are you going into this uh, I don't got a ticket so you got a ticket to get in scalping ticket <laughs> how much are tickets going for I think everyone has tickets here. No, nah, Nate Jones doesn't have a ticket. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, now I get passed up again. Never getting it. No, I got no ticket, dude. I'm just sitting here and just happy to be part of it, you know. I don't have one either. You don't have a ticket? No. Huh? I heard Kobe and Shaq's laying there. I heard he didn't have a ticket. No, I got a ticket. When did you get a ticket? Uh, two days ago. Thanks, Rick. You know, there, were, there was like five, four, three, two, one. You know, they had like you know six guys running one camera. You know, and microphones and lights, and the, the whole thing was just so over the top that it was actually super fun for me and Vern just to kind of camp out just next to like these other like legitimate camera crews. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Evans, Hi. Mr. Evans. Yes. Can we get a I don't, I don't think skateboarders are the same as like Hollywood where they show up to these events to get coverage. On. We got swooped by five, four, three, two, one. Hey, here we go. We got Rick. We got someone better. Hey, Mr. Howard, can we do an interview with you, sir? You're kidding me. You go there, and no, no skateboarder really wants to talk to the camera about God knows what. So I think that's why covering an event like this and skateboarding doesn't really work that way. Well. I gotta get in here, dude. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. Let's go. real quick. I gotta go. My my wife's yelling at me right now, and you know the wife's yelling at you. Mister Mister Arquez, Mister Arquez, can we get an interview real quick, sir? Oh, for sure, for sure. What would you guys like to know? Um, what do you want to tell us? What do you what are you anticipating well, for this video? Um, Gino, a bunch of amazing maneuvers, not much motion from the upper body. Right Aside here. from that, I'll give you guys some more on the way out because I'm sure I'll be much more emotional and like all teary eyed yeah, later on. Catch you on the rebound. Yeah, man, we got four on one. Everybody here. <laughs> Can we do an interview first before five, four, three, Vin two, one? Diesel at the premiere, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rogers, uh, this is your neighborhood. Can, can we do an interview? Hey, Jack Black, can we do an interview? Why don't I go find I take a power down for the DVD. Yeah, yeah. So what, you, uh, what, how was uh, working on this video compared to the last one? Uh, it was good. We got Ty in there this time. So he had the manic, like, six Red Bulls a day energy. So uh, it went good. Yeah. So, yeah. Now we're, we're here with the star of the video right here. So now it's all over. What do you got to say?
This summer, over 300 of the world's best action sports athletes come to SoCal. And if you think you know what they're going to do next, lots of luck. X Games in L.A. It's off the hizzle for shizzle dizzle. Starting August 16th on ESPN and ESPN2. Skateboarding before punk rock was uh, very California, very uh, Van Halen, very surfer oriented and uh, boring. That's why that, that's what I say. All my friends and get the kicks stumping on my I got into skateboarding because it wasn't a sport and you do it on your own. Hey everybody at home, this is Cairo Foster, and I looked at him again, but that's okay because I'm looking at you now, and uh, I'm going to set up a board. Uh, excuse me, i got to take a phone call. Uh, Kelly. Kelly Bird. Kelly Bird from the top. So, uh, once I'm done cutting the grip tape off, sick. I'll sand side. This also ensures that the grip doesn't come up because you, know, you don't want the grip peeling off. Dag nab it. Raymond, I'll be there in 15 minutes. All right, sorry, man. All right, we'll like Later. Raymond Molinar. Well, I am putting Venture trucks on, and uh, you can tell by the V on my truck, those are Ventures. I ride 5.0s, high, and you can tell they're high because of the purple bushings. And once I tighten, I try to make sure that the bolt's flush with the board and not too deep, because if it gets any deeper, it might cause the board to break more easily. 
So got popboard board, uh, venture trucks, Spitfire wheels, Swiss bearings, and that's it. The Kai sticker, Ruka sticker. That's my setup. And enter to win a setup similar to this. So make sure you check out 4on1's website and do that. This is Satori in Puerto Rico. Satori movement, the wheel company, started about four years ago. It's more of like a, a family of friends, more so than a company. The skaters here wanted to bring us over. They're really stoked on the Satori movement, our idea of just bringing more positivity into the skateboard world and kind of keeping skateboards at a new level of having fun and experience all the greatness that skateboarding can bring to one's life. So these guys just anteed up with this local skate shop, Toto Villa. We did a few demos for the kids that don't get to see too many pro skateboarders out here. And there's lots of good skate spots. It's been a great time. Skateboarding was beautiful, Lego was killing it with his power skating. Carl Watson was just finding all his cool stylish things that he does and like everyone was finding their little places to skate. was skating all the craziest obstacles. Puerto Rico has been a beautiful experience and people have been very kind and humble and accepting of skateboarding and the people here. Hi, this is Mayor Dave Armstrong in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm here with Steve Album, and we're all watching 411. A car spun around, slid out into the bushes over on the right shoulder. Hey, buddy, need a lift! Four fifty four. What are you doing? I'm driving. Don't let him shut you down. I got a fan here. Come on. A million dollar body and a food stamp face. Life can be complicated. Chicago!
what is the purpose of breaking bottles? I've been going through this problem with my girlfriend. Hellboy f***ing f***ed me! Hellboy. Picture a guy named Hellboy, and that's what he looks like. Look what she's doing you! What I need right now is heavy metal music. I want to play the field of f***s. Ew! So keep on pretending Go break into Glorin's house. Look in her drawers. Look in her dirty laundry. These are girlfriends' underwear. You guys uh, got the new Nokia CD? They have the ultimate band. If you say one more thing, I'll pull your <laughs> face off. Watch your mouth, sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bro. Haggard. I'm riding my pro model, New York, Danny Super. It's pretty thin, I don't even know how wide it is. I just, as long as it's not too wide, like seven and a half or something, it's cool. I don't even pay attention to the measurements, just as long as it fits under my feet, it'll be pretty cool. Not too, not too long, not too short. Just as long as it's wood and I can put on some wheels, it's all good. For the trucks, it's black, all new Indies right here, like 136s. And the ride Lucky Bangs, Todd Jordan, New York wheels, anywhere from 50 to 53 I'll ride. These, these are the shoes I skate in right here, these are real good. Nike uh, URL, they're like all slaves so they got real good grip. And there you have it. Dang super setup right here. There it goes. Take it for a little spin.
for the 411vm.com for a chance to win my deck. There it is. My first step on a skateboard was painful. It was painful? First step was always scary, I thought. Blown away. I couldn't stop. And I just saw Marty McFly skating. It was after watching my dad skate down the alley. It was a Walmart board, but you need a real board. I didn't think I was actually going to be a skateboarder. I told my mom right away I wanted to skateboard. That's what I wanted to do. I was like, man, this is the thing I want to do when I grow up. My first steps on a skateboard was the best film I ever had. Skateboard Shops, February 11th, 2003. Brought to you by 1212 Records.
day in the life of Chris Sen. <laughs> Hello, my name is Christopher Ray Sen. This is GV, where I live and grew up, and this is my house. Is that good for the intro, you think? <laughs> Today it's a bit hectic out, I'm doing some interviews and photos and having a little meeting with everyone from Adrenaline. Now what, I'm gonna go to Brian when he's taking photos of me? That's Brian, he takes photos of me, skating and posing right now for him. Oh man, that's hard. <laughs> These are my paintings and some of my sculptures. Some of them end up on our boards, some of them just sit and collect dust. So we're off to skate the Grass Valley Park now. First we're gonna stop and have a little bit of coffee at the Flower Garden. Try to get going here. How do you fast forward it then? Okay, this is the Grass Valley Park. This is where we all hang out and everyone gets together and we all skate and just have a good time and enjoy the park that we built. Um, the whole community came together about two years ago and. We all got shovels and picks and wheelbarrows and guys came in with tractors and cement and eventually the park got finished and now we have this amazing park to skate every single day. And today we have the whole adrenaline team doing a demo at the park it seems with special guest Tosh Townsend. Townend, sorry Tosh. <laughs> Make sure you put that in there though, he hates that. Right yeah! the Gaspar Skate Park. Dan Life Chris <laughs> Everyone's just skating today, having a good time. That's Miner, the so-called filmer, who's better than you. That's Toad, the electrician. Nice work, Toad. That's Greg Chapman. He makes our boards and says he doesn't know how to skate, but obviously he does. So after that we decided to go have some dinner at the uh, Main Street Cafe. We have nice steaks there, we all enjoyed ourselves. Nice atmosphere, fine wine, and now we're going to go skating I guess. <laughs> the kid that I gave a skateboard to when he was nine is taking everyone out right now. <laughs> We've, we heard about a new gap at the fire station and we decided to go check it out and it was seriously cold out. It looked like it was gonna hurt really bad if she fell. And little David and Tosh took me out basically and then I got kicked out by this fireman. So we decided to go to my old high school where I went to high school at and skated some ledge here. And that's my ceramics class right there behind me. And then we went to the Hill of Doom Many people try the Hill of Doom, but few up right away. <laughs> Tosh, Tosh pulled it off pretty smooth, better than I've ever seen anyone do it, but David got ragdolled twice, so that was a night after that, and we just had some coffee, and we're gonna go back home and wake up tomorrow and hopefully do the same thing. Have a nice night. It's my day and it's my life. What else should I say? Well, that's it for 411 issue number 59. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out our next issue, number 60, the 10 year anniversary issue. Also, stay tuned for trick tips on board sliding rails with Sal from the first step. <laughs> <laughs>
Have a nice day and keep skating. I got to let boo as an excuse Just in case I fall flat on my face Oh, what the hell? What is the use? Every Think of the video. I thought the it girl was, video. I thought it was excellent. Uh, the little guy that takes the big slams, I love it. The falls are the best. Whose part did you yeah, like the best? Uh, Austin. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. I said Austin. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dave Meddy, and this is the first step. This issue's trick tip goes out to Sammy Murdoch because he emailed us and asked us, how do I get onto handrails? He wants to skate an 11 stair handrail in his town. Skating handrails is one of the most mentally and physically demanding aspects of skateboarding, so you have to take it seriously. Here's a few tips for helping you to build your confidence so you can go out and skate that handrail in your hometown that's been staring you down. Thanks, Dave. Getting onto handrails is difficult as with most tricks in skateboarding, so I suggest that you start small. Specific obstacles that you can skate and practice board slides on that'll prepare you to skate a real handrail are homemade slider bars, schoolyard benches, your grandma's backyard bench if she permits, your friendly neighborhood slider box, your local skate shop demo two up, and the best thing to skate for you to learn how to do board slides on a real handrail is a flat bar which you can find typically at your local skate park, and if not there, you can buy one at your local skate shop. Prior to board sliding a rail, it's important that you feel comfortable ollieing and having ollieing wired. As Dave said, skating handrails is mentally and physically challenging. No matter how big the rail, it all happens really fast, so let's take it slow. 
The most critical part of skating handrails is the moment between ollieing and actually landing on the rail. Learning what it takes to get on handrails comes from the time you spent skating on all the other obstacles that we talked about earlier. Now that you feel that you have what it takes, let's get started. As you ride up to the rail, approach it at a slight angle. In a position to ollie, focus your attention on the rail, particularly where you want to land. When you come to the end of the run-up, ollie and commit to landing on the spot that you are focused on. As you land, balance, relax, and stand up a slight bit while staying centered over your board. As you approach the end of the rail, turn your head and shoulders in the way that you want to go, in this case, right away going forward. As you get used to doing board slides on all the obstacles I've talked about here, you'll be preparing yourself to skate bigger, longer handrails everywhere. All right, here's Dave. He's gonna show you how to get in touch with us. If there's something that you wanna learn, send your trick tip request into us at first step at 411bm.com and you might see it in the next issue of 411. Later. This trick tip will be continued in 411 issue number 61. Issue number 60 is the 10 year anniversary issue for 411. It's something to look forward to. Action! Medi and Salman asked us to host this giveaway contest, so let's go inside. Sick! Time! Good for sick! Trippy. Hey, you can win one of Solomon and God's pro models and all this stuff when you fill out the first step survey. So to be entered to win, go to 401dm.com and fill out the first step survey. Do it now, man. Dude, pretty good job, metal man. Thanks, Uncle 